All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your reading. This is for Gemini placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay? Be sure to flip and switch the roles, flip and switch genders, whatever you need to do. Uh, don't make the story, don't force the story to fit. Okay, so <clears throat> what do Gemini placements, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know right now? Uh, so we got protest and goal that came out. Purpose, expectation, destination, protest, inadequacy, sue, and attention. So uh, you, I don't know if you're suing somebody, Gemini, or somebody has something that they want to say to you. Somebody could want your attention. Okay. Somebody's fixated on something, or this is you, good or bad, I don't know. What what is Gemini? Gemini placements. Too many cards. We got relaxation and sweetheart. What else? Just one. Alright, so we have daydream number 61. Optimism, illusion, delirium. So some of you guys could be doing a lot of fantasizing. You could be uh, planning a vacation. Some of you guys need a vacation, especially if you find yourself drifting off or just being really distracted. Some of you guys may need a break, okay? There, somebody could be taking a strike or taking a stand on something. This could be in regards to work. Like a comp, like you could be a group of people could be doing this within a company, or somebody could be trying to do this to you, Gemini. But um, just make sure you got. Just make sure you guys. There, you're in your head a lot. Make sure you're not thinking of worst case scenarios. There's nothing wrong with daydreaming, <clears throat> but you know, make sure you're not. Make sure you're. If you have goals that you want to accomplish, make sure you, you know, you have follow through an action. Uh-uh, baby. No, no, no. No, here you go. Where's that other one? Hold on, Gemini. I don't know why this girl always... They, the pen is right there bother me when I'm on my readings. There you go. She don't bother me any other time. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, what else for Gemini? She started daycare this month, thank God. I can get on a, a real routine for myself. Uh, what else? Uh, we got profession here. Something about your work, Gemini, number one. Okay, something about the number seven and one could be significant. Uh, expertise, ominence, and talent. So this could have something to do with your work. Maybe, yeah, a lot of you guys could be daydreaming at work or you have a goal. You have something that you're passionate about, something that you're an expert in. You could be talented at something. Some of you guys could like to cook. Okay, or you're really, you could be multifaceted. You could have a lot of things you're good at. Most Geminis do. Just make sure you're actually putting in effort into whatever it is that you want to do. Make sure you're finishing things that you start. Okay, what else for Gemini? Gemini placements. have calm okay number 14 which reduces to number five and number 23 which also reduces to five here so you could be seeing five 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 um we have calm inner peace simplicity and meditation so some of you guys could be needing to you could be uh trying to calm yourselves mentally you could be doing more meditation or you're being asked to we have blessing fulfillment well-being and enlightenment Okay, and we have vow here, wish, hope, and worship. So some of you guys can need to create an altar for yourself or a little sanctuary in your home that's just for you to meditate, pray, and, you know, connect with source, connect with yourself. <clears throat> connecting with yourself is connecting with source. So, you know, you may need your own little quiet area in your home. Okay. Um... 
you could be working on your inner peace right now, Gemini, or you're being asked to. What's daydream for Gemini placements? What's daydream? Okay, death in reverse. So, Gemini's, the Scorpio energy, you or someone can have Scorpio in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, this could be a fear of change, a lack of change, resistance to change here. Yeah, three of wands in reverse, Aries, Sun energy. So, some of you guys could be staying stuck in your comfort zones. Nothing, you may feel like things aren't coming in. Uh, you know, there could be delays. You could be feeling frustrated. You may feel like things are only just a fantasy. For some of you guys, it could be that you aren't taking action to change things. Whether there's changing things about yourself is like... You know, your thought patterns, your beliefs, how you see things, how you visualize stuff, right? There's something that needs to change that's not changing. There could be something or someone you need to release and let go of that you're not, you're not, there's something that needs to die. That, that you're, that, yeah, something needs to like go. <clears throat> What's daydreaming? Yeah, the tower. Aries, Scorpio energy, heavy Scorpio. Yeah, some of you guys have a new, you got new love coming in or you got a new opportunity that's going to bring a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness. You're going to feel content, overjoyed, maybe even crying. Something that was just a, a hope, a wish, a fantasy could actually be coming in for you guys. So for some of you guys, you could have thought something was over, but it's not. Okay, maybe things are just changing. What's the death in reverse? Or things needed to change. Yeah, Nine of Swords here, Mars and Gemini. Somebody could be worried about something ending or changing. You or someone else. Maybe somebody doesn't want something to end or change. Well, that could be you guys just worried about change. You could be in your head about something that you need to end or something that needs to change, period. I feel like... Yeah, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but this is a lot of worry, fear, anxiety. Yeah, four swords and four swords here, Jupiter and Libra. A lot of you guys are thinking long and hard about something. You could be in your head. You're worried, you're scared. Some of you guys, you could be having insomnia. You could be going to bed really late, so be careful with that. Try not to stay up too late. Some of you guys need a vacation, you need a break, okay? Or you need to give your you need to give your mind a break from thinking about something, dealing with something. Maybe some of y'all just yeah, you need to take a pause. You need more rest. Okay, what's the nine of swords here? Yeah, nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. So something that y'all something that could have been an ongoing battle. I feel like whatever if somebody wanted something to end for you, Gemini, I feel like it's not your resilient. Okay, you could be in your head. Again, some of you guys are thinking about something over and over. It could be worst case scenarios. For some of you guys, somebody could have been trying to play with your mind or maybe you guys struggled with some type of PTSD, some type of anxiety, okay? You've been through, the, the Nine of Wands is someone who's been through a lot. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. What's this uh, Nine of Wands? Yeah, Knight of, Wands, Knight of Wands is here. November Sag, November Scorpio. So this could be a, a Sagittarius or a Scorpio who's worried about something, who could be watching you. Somebody here could be paranoid. Okay, they're thinking about something. I don't know if they're trying to scheme with or come up with something or what. Or this could be you. This could be about you needing to take a risk. If you've been daydreaming on doing something, Gemini, it's time to just do it. Okay? <laughs> Get out your head and start taking action. Start making plans. The Nine of Wands is someone who, you know, they take risks, healthy risks that 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 usually go well. Okay, but the the Moon here, there could be some type of subconscious fears. Um, there could be confusion. Maybe you feel like you don't really know everything yet. You know, what's this Nine of Wands? Somebody could be trying to project or inst inst instill fear in you so something isn't over or something doesn't change for you or them. Knight of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. Heavy Sag and Scorpio. So you or somebody can have Sag or Scorpio in their chart. Virgo or Leo. 
for Virgo, Leo here with the Knight of Pentacles, August Virgo, August Leo to be exact. Um, some of y'all need to, because uh, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles are very opposing energies. <laughs> Because the Knight of Wands is very fast moving. They, you know, they, they could be a bit rash, impulsive, a little bit arrogant, hot headed. You could be trying to balance out your temper, your moods. Okay, you may need to balance. You can have earth and fire in your chart. Okay, um, you're being called to see something. I'm sorry about that, Gemini. You're being called to see something through, finish what you start. Because the Knight of Pentacles finishes what they start. They finish what they start. They take their time. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, what you, baby, you just had, she had pineapple. She had kiwi. She had waffles. She had scrambled eggs. What's the tower? Yeah, Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So, you or somebody can have Virgo in your chart. The Hermit could be like fear. So, somebody is scared. There's a lot of fear here. I don't know if somebody's trying to slow you down or somebody needs to slow down on something. So, yeah, two of Wands in reverse, Mars in Aries. This could be like poor planning, something not evolving. Okay, a poor decision. Somebody feeling stuck. Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody could be holding a grudge or feeling stuck somewhere that they're not happy. Like they're staying there because it's familiar, but they're not happy. Somebody could be wanting to come towards you with a message, but they could be worried or scared. I don't feel like this person has done much changing. They haven't really, they haven't really gone within with the Hermit in reverse. Or this is you, Gemini. That, you know, what's this Hermit in reverse? What's the hermit yeah. in reverse? Okay, magician. Yeah. Virgo, Gemini energy. Happy Virgo in this reading. Yeah. Shh, baby. Shh, shh, baby. This could be about clarity. It could be some spell work. Somebody was trying to project onto you. Somebody could have been trying to project a lot of negative thoughts to slow you down, fear, make you paranoid. But I feel like this is happening to them. What's the? But I feel like a lot of you guys are gaining clarity on something. I feel like somebody can't hide in your face anymore. If they were playing around in your energy, or they've been trying to make you, I don't know, be all up in your head and shit. I feel like it's not working, magician. Yeah, the star in reverse. Aquarius energy. You or somebody can have Aquarius in their chart. Somebody can have a, a Mercury in Virgo. Or Gemini, Taurus, or Aries, I'm getting. Scorpio, I just heard too. Yeah, somebody could have been playing with your energy with that star in reverse. You guys could have been feeling tired, uninspired, lethargic, lost. You want to put mommy's shirt on? Hold on, Gemini. Come, come over here. Come over here. This, she always loves to put my clothes on, Gemini. I feel like somebody was playing in your energy, <laughs> to be honest, with that star in reverse. Or that could have just, that some of you guys could be sick, okay? Some of y'all could be trying to find um, holistic, I don't know, somebody here may not with the hermit, because the hermit could be like a doctor, a psychiatrist of some sort. Maybe you guys, somebody here may not really, but somebody here may not really believe in like, traditional medicine some some of you guys could be trying to explore other avenues of healing things within yourself naturally or this is someone else okay some of you guys are meant to be like healers shamans some of you guys could be into reiki uh neuropathic medicine you know stuff like that i feel like you're hard working you're passionate you're creative what's the star in reverse Gemini seven of wands in reverse something yeah somebody could have been playing around in your dream state Gemini something is backfiring or some I don't know if somebody somebody feels weakened 
Yeah, I feel like because you're in this temperance energy, you're focusing on your peace. There was opposing forces, but it, it a lot of it had to do with divine timing. Eight of Wands in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that could be divine, that could be bad timing. But with this Ace of Wands in reverse, that could also be spell work that somebody was sending your way. But you're protected. Something is going back on somebody. Or somebody could just feel defeated, burnt out. This is what they wanted for you. Or you guys could be feeling burnt out because you need to slow down, pace yourself, and maybe take a break before you're forced to. But if this was somebody else directing this to you, it's happening to them. And I feel like you're at peace. You're harmonizing yourself or you're being you're being told to or guided to. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, yeah. there you go. You're grounded. You're stable. Something is not working on you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. December, Capricorn. December, Sagittarius. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Moon and Aquarius is here. This could be self-deception or somebody trying to take something from you or, or somebody here got caught doing something. Somebody here could have been trying to cloak themselves, cloak their energy, whatever. It's not working. And if this is you, Gemini, again, you got a lot of you guys could be focusing on your finances. You could be trying to rebuild yourself after a loss or just rebuild yourself better. You're taking care of home, your kids, if you have any kids, your inner child. Okay, something is growing, the Knight of Pentacles to the Queen. Something about your finances, your material life. You could be just become, you could just be feeling more grounded within yourself, more solid. Something is unblocked for you as well with that seven of wands in reverse. Or there could be some y'all could need to do a detox, change your diet, stuff like that. What's profession? Okay, seven of cups in reverse. Venus and Scorpio. So some of you guys could have a, you could be getting clear on what you're supposed to be doing for work. There could be something that happens to you, Gemini, or happens in your life, and, but it's pushing you to your purpose, I feel like. Something natural, some of you guys could be natural, like witches, healers, nurses, uh, intuitives. You could be, you could do tarot, you could do something just for healing. Or whatever you do, you bring a healing aspect to it. Or you're supposed to. You're, bec you're becoming more... You're becoming... If you were lost and you wasn't sure what you were supposed to do for work, you, you're, uh, you're slowly finding yourself, your purpose. Okay? The Seven of Cups in reverse could be about making a choice or having too many... You could be having too much going on. And also, again, too much fantasizing, not enough action as well the seven of cups in reverse could be a missed opportunity it could be excessive daydreaming without doing anything behind it so just make sure you're putting one foot in front of the other you have a goal make sure you have action steps for each goal that or e each interest you have okay and depending on your personality type and your energy type you can try to do them all at once or one at a time okay profession yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, July Cancer, July Leo. Some of you guys are meant to, uh, you're elevating in some part, in some part of your life. You're meant to be leaders, whether you work for yourself or not. Okay, you're meant to lead. You're very creative. You're talented for a lot of you. Six of Swords here in reverse, Mercury and Aquarius. Three of Swords is here, Saturn and Libra. So there could be some. So the reason why some of you guys are so caught up in your head mentally could be because of some type of past heartache or betrayal or pain that could be coming back up or something that could have happened recently. So that could be a, a distraction for you guys. Something that you are lacking closure in, that you're still holding on to. It could be a grudge. It could be, you know, it's whatever. Uh, seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. April Taurus, April Aries. Somebody here. So just make sure there could be a called off celebration, Okay. Some of you guys, be careful with who you do business with because somebody may not have the same ethics and morals and values as you do, Gemini, okay? 
Somebody could have been trying to, somebody, yeah, three of cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer. I mean, not Mercury, yeah, Mercury and Cancer, but yeah, Mercury and Cancer. The King of Pentacles in reverse makes poor financial choices. They're materialistic, they're super, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, somebody here could be doing something for work just before the money, but they don't really love it, Okay. So somebody here could be going into entrepreneurship or just finding what they're passionate about. Some of you guys don't have, a, somebody doesn't really have a good work-life balance. Somebody could be all work, no life. Or somebody here is just all play and no, there needs to be a balance. Now, this king, this king and queen of pentacles can both be different aspects of yourself, Gemini. Okay, the kings are all about the, the uh, external energy. So some of you guys could be working on your inner, like feeling emotionally and mentally centered and grounded. So you can make better uh, choices and actions regarding your finances and your stability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's this king of pentacles in reverse? Somebody could have missed an opportunity because in work because yeah, what's kind of pentacles in reverse? Somebody here could spend a lot of money uh with like addictions and stuff. King of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the king of swords is here. Somebody could be going through a divorce. Some of you guys could have met this person at work. Six of Pentacles in reverse, the world in reverse, Moon and Taurus here. So somebody here felt undervalued by something or some by someone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, January, Capricorn, January, Aquarius. Somebody could be really aloof, cold, a bit more detached. What's this? Who's that? Who's this King of Swords here? The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's insecure. Or well, this could be you, Gemini. You guys could be feeling this way. You guys could be trying to get a handle, like I said, on your finances. Somebody could be losing a lot of money or somebody made a poor financial choice. Yeah, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. Somebody could have did something impulsive. Somebody could be easily distracted. Somebody, this could be identity theft too. Somebody could be trying to steal something from you, Gemini. Steal your work, your ideas, okay? Page of Swords in Reverse is like identity theft, illegal activity. Knight of Swords in Reverse is someone that's impulsive. They throw the rock and hide their hands. They put other people in harm's way. This could be, somebody here could be into same sex, man or woman. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Somebody here could want to open up about something or somebody's unstable. There's an unstable aspect of yourself or of someone or somebody's actually going through something financially. Somebody here could be like a scammer. So be careful of doing business with certain people or a person, a friend or whoever. They may try to paint something to be a certain way that it's not. Somebody's greedy, they're selfish, they're stingy. They don't, yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody may have something that they want to say to you, Gemini. Four of pentacles in reverse. Because that could, four pentacles could be about opening up, letting something go, releasing. Somebody, some of you guys could be clearing something out. It could be costing you money for some of you guys, or it's costing, you may have to, a big purchase to make as well. Four pentacles in reverse. Ten of cups. Mars and Pisces. So this somebody, so somebody may want to open up about their sexuality or what they do for work, or uh, somebody could want to know what you do for work. How you make your money. This could be someone that you have a child with, kids with, or somebody in your family, or this person's family. Somebody feels like they're losing re family recipes or they're losing recipes to certain things in life. Yeah, I feel like somebody's real. Somebody needs to... Um, Somebody could be making a choice, but be careful of somebody. Somebody be careful of someone trying to take something from you, Gemini. Somebody here could work with kids. ACS or something like that. What's this King of Wands? 
Yeah, the hangman, Pisces energy. You or somebody can have Pisces in their chart. Somebody can want you to see something from their point of view, or they could be seeing something from your point of view now. Now they want to be more open, more communicative, but I still feel like they're aloof and they're still insecure. Something about somebody's finances is not as secure as they come off, or I don't know, or somebody's just unstable. Somebody could be trying to sober up. Even, what's the hangman? What's the hangman for Gemini placements? Yeah, okay, the Queen of Swords here. September Virgo, September Libra, and the Chariot. A lot of people are here. Cancerian energy. You or someone can have cancer in their chart. Somebody could be letting go of a family dynamic or wanting to be more open about something. Yeah, the King of Swords and Queen of Swords. This could be a breakup, a divorce. Again, different aspects of yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys know what you want. Okay, you could be being rerouted with the with the chariot in reverse. Or you feel like something is put on pause or you feel stuck. You may need to speak out about something, Gemini. What's this chariot in reverse with the Queen of Swords? Okay. Okay, Queen of Wands. March Aries, March Pisces. So yeah. A lot of people here, Six of Cups, Scorpio, Sun Energy. I feel like somebody's trying to take something with this. Somebody could be wanting to offer you something or I don't know. Yeah, it could be a bad contract. So I would be careful, Gemini, because you may get into something with somebody that's hard to get out of. Work-wise, relationship-wise, I'd be careful. This could even be something with family here. Somebody could want to make a kind gesture, but it's only because they want to get you back stuck. Somebody hasn't learned from their mistakes or their, or or you haven't. I don't know. Be really careful, though. Somebody is lazy. They could be trying to take your ideas or they're, somebody is just lazy. They're uncooperative. They don't want to cooperate with you. Somebody could be abusing their position of... Somebody could be abusing their position of authority. Maybe like you need their help and they're not helping you or, but this person's gonna be losing a lot for not being cooperative. Language. Who's this queen of wands? Cause that chariot in reverse, that could be like a dead end, a roadblock. What's this queen of wands? Some of you guys may need to move. What's this queen of wands? Ten of Wands in reverse. You could be seeing ten, ten, ten of cups, ten of wands. Saturn and Sagittarius. Some of you guys may have too much on your plate, too much that you're juggling. You may not really have the help you need. Some of you guys may need to free up your time. Maybe put your kids in daycare so you can work more or something like that. Some of y'all may have your own daycare. Like I said, some of y'all could work with kids. The Ten of Wands in reverse is like dropping a dead, dropping dead weight. But the chariot could be, a, there's a roadblock. I feel like somebody's trying to burden you, Gemini. Somebody could be trying to slow you down and burden you, weigh you down. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. You guys could be feeling overlooked or somebody doesn't want you to be seen or... This could be a group of, there's a lot of people here. It could be a group of people. I don't know where you are or who you are in this reading. So there could be a lot of shape-shifting. Or you could just be, these could be you, different aspects of yourself. The king and queen of pentacles, king and queen of swords, king and queen of wands. You could be getting your volatility back, Gemini. It's like, what's, what's the ten of cups? The high priestess. So somebody could be wanting to open up about like some, about, yeah, there's a secret here. High priestess here. You may need to, you need to use your intuition about something. Some of you guys are are high priestesses. Cancer Pisces energy. Somebody can have a, a high priest in their family, a high priestess in their family, a witch in their family, or this is you. For some of you guys, your profession is to be a high priestess. somebody's being quiet or somebody knows something but they're not saying it and it can have something to do with somebody in your family 
or this person spent what's this high priestess or somebody what's this high priestess the, the empress Taurus Libra energy. So you or somebody can have Taurus or Libra in their chart. Page of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be hiding a pregnancy. Or some of you guys could be doulas. It's something that, yeah, so, yeah. You may do something in beauty, skincare, hair, something spiritual, something that's going to make you very abundant with your profession. But somebody's very superficial. I don't know who's this, who's, what's this? Or this is you guys not listening to your inner voice. There could be codependency issues. Your somebody is not. Somebody could be having. Somebody could be caught in the middle of something. You're very fertile right now, Gemini, with the High Priestess, the Empress. Some of y'all could be out of work because you're pregnant, okay? Or something to do with motherhood, kids, woman, possibly. Not of pentacles could be, watch your overspending. Okay, not of pentacles in reverse is someone that is obsessed with their image. What's the calm here? What's this Ten of Wands in reverse real quick? Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, judgment. Something about your calling, your profession, your purpose, Gemini. Yeah, something with your, something about your, oh, okay, so Gemini, so you could be keeping, you need to keep your ideas to yourself. The Emperor in reverse. Okay, here we go. Aries energy. So a lot of you guys are doing the inner work. And it may not be time to put an act. Like, you guys are balancing your masculine and your feminine. You're, you're mastering the art of manifestation by having the ideas and doing the inspired and aligned actions to make things happen. Or that's what you're being called to learn how to do or do. Somebody here could be into sports. You're really... Something that, you're, that you do, Gemini, you're really skilled at. Okay? Some, you're, you're really skilled at something. Something about your creative energy is really potent. It's about your purpose. There's good news here. Something about your work, Gemini. Maybe something is delayed or something could be progressing really slow. You may need to, you may, you could be going, there's an incubation period. Something is cooking up, Gemini. So whatever you're going through is to align you to your true purpose to bring you closer to it or to help you master it even more. What's calm? Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse, Mercury and Taurus. So if you've been struggling financially or with your health or anything like that, I feel like you're gonna come out of that. Okay, what's the calm here? You're getting out of this lack mentality, feeling left out in the cold, okay? Feeling abandoned, what's calm? A lack mentality or surrounding finances, just life in general. What's calm here? The Eight of Swords is here. Yeah, Jupiter and Gemini. So you could have been down on your luck. Some of you guys are having a hard time finding a job. You could be breaking a contract, leaving a job to follow your purpose, to follow something that you're that you're gonna be emotionally and creatively satisfied in. Some y'all need to be. Some of you guys may need to surrender to the time being. And just wait for wait for the call. Wait, you, you guys could be you guys could be waiting for a phone call. Something is gonna come to you, Gemini's intuitively. You're gonna know what to do. You're gonna know what this is. I can't really tell you every. I can't. I can't tell you everything. You're gonna have to quiet your mind, or just wait. There's a waiting period. Some of you guys could be feeling like things are fluctuating. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Jupiter and Capricorn energy. Your finances could have been fluctuating. You may need to be open and you could you may need to open yourself up to maybe working with others, but just be mindful or what well, you know, what's the uh five of pentacles in reverse? Three of swords here. Yeah, some of you uh, Saturn and Libra. Some of you guys are getting over some type of heartache or pain. Whether it's something that happened or something that this Mercury retrograde is pulling back up for you. 
Okay, you're working through some type of separation, abandonment wounds, inner peace. Three of Swords here. What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Gemini. The Fool in Reverse, the Nine of Cups, Five of Swords. Fool could be hesitation. Distractions. Be careful of people who's trying to come in and distract you. Gemini, people that want to come in and date you, but really they don't have good intentions. It's just a distraction. Be mindful of that. Seven of Pentacles. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Seven of Pentacles, seven of Cups, seven of Wands. Sevens is about like information being revealed. Things are going to be revealed to you, Gemini. Follow your intuition. Wait to receive. You're going to, you're going to know when to do something. It's something about you guys needing to go inward. You could be, you could have been seeking answers outside of yourself on how to do things, through readings, through whatever. But you, it's something that may require you to still, to still your mind. It's coming. Something big is coming. But you're gonna have to kind of wait. You're in the incubation. You're in that metamorphosis period. Things are changing. Things could be happening unexpectedly. You could be manifestations are coming in for you. But the way they're happening. There could be towers that you're experiencing in certain areas of your life so you can make certain decisions, take certain actions so you can come closer to where, you know, there's a, a gap that's being bridged. That that chariot in reverse gives me something about a gap being bridged. Where you are and what you want is being, is coming, is the gap is being bridged to closer together, but it's not, it may not, it may be happening in unexpected ways. Something definitely deals with your purpose. Maybe something that you wanted to do since you were a child or something that you wanted to do from your past or something that you were doing in your past life is coming back up again. Something's part of your purpose. The judgment could be about karmic lessons or, or the past as well. You may also need to work on forgiveness. There could be something that you're ruminating on that you may need to take, a, that you could be, I mean, look, take stock at, Whatever, whatever pain you're experiencing right now, Gemini, take stock of it, but don't ruminate over it so much to the point where your intuition is blocked off. You're not, you're not seeing things that are in front of you. You're not focusing. You're not concentrating. You're closed off. You're not being flexible or adaptable, so forth and so forth. Just be mindful of that. But you, there's an investment. Something that you're, it's something about some pain and suffering that you've overcome or that you will overcome that you're gonna get. You're, you're gonna get a. Uh, your investment in something is going to pay off. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something about the past. A, a, a childhood dream. Something that you love doing as a child. Something to do with children for some of you guys or your inner child. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You could be seeing ten, ten, ten. Yeah, with that world in reverse, the death card in reverse, something is not quite over. You may need to, with this judgment here, you may need to review something from an old job, an old skill, an old hobby, an old heartache. It's something that needs to be revealed. It could even have something to do with your family, your upbringing. Mercury in Virgo with this ton of pentacles in reverse. Some of you, this could be also debt or loss of money. Some of you guys could be learning a lesson surrounding your finances, being too passive when it comes to finances. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Cups. All the queens are out here. Gemini, you're in, you're in your, oh, you're this Empress High Priestess, Gemini. You're in, you're this Empress High Priestess energy. Yeah, you're this Empress High Priestess. All the queens are here. You're deaf, you're Empress. Your feminine energy, Gemini, is being mastered right now. Or like you're, yeah, something about that part of yourself. June, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June, Cancer, June, Gemini. Some of you guys are healing or cleansing something off your, your mother's side of the family, your maternal line. Something about your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your mother, is something like that that you're cleansing and healing. It has something to do with your finances and your purpose. 
what's this queen of cups you may be the first to do something or there could be a gift that's been passed down and your that's a part of your family lineage but you're the first to actually make a profession out of it okay queen of cups ace of cups um, so you're very intuitive. Some of you guys come from a line of family members, especially women in your family who are extremely creative, artistic, loving, empathetic, caring. Your intuition is really heightened right now. Your creativity, your create, your sacral and your heart chakra, Gemini, are booming right now. I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. It's going to open a lot for you. Eight of Swords here. Yeah, Justice is here. Somebody could be going to jail, Gemini. Libra energy. What's this justice here? You're getting good karma. If you've been wronged, you, you remain calm, Gemini. If you've been wronged, you will get your just due. What's the justice here or spiritual justice? What's, the, what's justice here? Yeah, two of cups, Venus and Cancer. So there could be something about a connection, your love life. That's really important. That you're getting justice on that somebody didn't want you to have or you or you coming into harmony with yourself venus and cancer here what's this two of cups eight of pentacles virgo energy some there's unfinished business between you and someone or there's a lesson that you need to you're gonna you're gonna be tested with something gemini you're going to be tested. Have you truly mastered this or have you not? Or do you have to repeat something again? It could be about being undervalued. Being in situations where there was no reciprocity. People undervaluing you, using you, abusing you, playing on you. You, Yeah, somebody here, yeah, naivety. People abusing, taking your kindness for weakness distracting you so there's something that hasn't fully ended before you level before you can level up gemini there's something about your past that's being revisited it could be what you you there may be something a connection you need to work on that spirit wants you to work on so you can master something about yourself before you can level up i don't know eight of pentacles yeah eight of cups in reverse you could be seeing eight 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 something karmic yeah, there's unfinished business. Two of swords here. You may have a tough decision to make. Yeah, Gemini. Somebody could be wanting to come back around. You may have a you may have choices in business, work, love, eight of cups, Saturn and Pisces. Somebody could be wanting to return. Gemini to work to work on something with you. But I don't know. What's this ace of cups? The lovers here, Gemini energy. So Gemini, you have a choice to make. Only one of these choices is the Ace of Cups. I saw the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles is upright, but it's not out here. Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. You have a choice. What's the, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? Child. <laughs> Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse. One of these options, you need to just move on because it's not going to work. Somebody hasn't changed. They haven't learned from their mistakes. It's going to be challenges. They could just want your energy. They're very draining. Yeah, this could be somebody from your past that wants to reconcile with you. Gemini, you got a I don't know. You got a choice to make. That's the best thing. That's the best way I can. Somebody, some of you guys could be holding a grudge with that Eight of Cups in reverse. You could be stuck on something from your past. You may need. You could be trying to work through that, Gemini, about a, your about how you connect with yourself, people, a particular person. You got a choice to make though, and work possibly. There could be procrastination. Somebody could, you could be procrastinating on something that you want to put out, something that you're really good at, Gemini. Or somebody's procrastinating when it comes to you. They, somebody could be unsure if you're in a relationship, if you're seeing somebody, if they can come back or not. If, if bygones can be bygones. But 
I feel like they, if somebody, if it's a person who overlooked you in the past and who didn't appreciate you and valued you in the past, I don't, I, this came up in your last reading already. Go watch your, re your last reading. It's a distraction. You got, it's like every time people know, it's like either a particular person, people can sense when you got new things coming in <clears throat> and they want to come back in to be this. They don't have really shit. They don't have shit to offer you. <laughs> They don't. They just know that you got some good stuff coming in and they want to be a distraction. So you need to be careful. This person, and they, and they could be trying to take something from you. They could be teaming up with whoever they are, somebody that they're with. This is something, something about your inheritance, about a gift that you have, your talent, <clears throat> your expert is something. But you guys could be procrastinating on something that you need to do. Or when you were with this person in your past, they made you lazy. Your money could have been really fluctuating bad. You need to keep that in mind. Okay? Uh, you, may, you need to meditate on a decision. This could be bad. Somebody could be getting bad news about their finances. That could be their karma too. This person could need to balance something out with you. And they're not. I don't know. Let's, let's get some uh, tea leaf messages. Uh, archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Yeah, something is opening up, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Something is opening up. Something about the month of October. Tiger. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. Yeah, some of you guys may need to take a risk here. Okay. Or somebody wants to take a chance on you. Or they want you to take a chance on them. Yeah, uh, wind chimes. Peace and harmony. I feel like you need to... Is the, the more you focus on your peace and harmony within yourself, Gemini, your decision making will be much easier. It'll be easier for you to see things. So things could be a bit confusing, up in the air. You don't really know. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. That could be how some of you guys feel right now. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So some of y'all could be in interracial relationships. Somebody could be biracial, okay? Somebody, there could be something about a fair-skinned woman or somebody that's light-skinned. They can have blonde hair, natural or not. What else? Gray or white hair. Cur oh my God, Gemini. It's something about your career and your profession. It's, I mean, it's here, Gemini. It's here. Oh, let me open up the blind, shall I? Let me get some. There's something about your career, your profession, Gemini. It's, it's, it's very evident. It may be time to take action regarding something that you, again, like you have, you, you could be procrastinating on something, Gemini. Okay. You can, may have the opportunity to work with somebody. Like I said, just make sure you guys are on the same page. Okay. We got indecisive will, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Yeah, some of you guys, you're not, you're just, you're not really taking somebody either. You or somebody's not taking action. And the universe doesn't like stagnancy. That chariot in reverse could be stagnancy. That's why the tower is here to get you moving. Some of you guys aren't really doing much or you need to change something up. You can feel like you don't have options or choices, but you do more than you realize. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Again, hello, success with effort. And we have bowl, plenty of material things. So Gemini's... It's here. If you've been wanting to recover your finances, build up your money, your career, your status, the opportunity is here, but you're going to have to meet the universe halfway and you're going to have to give up something. Let something or someone go. Maybe let parts of yourself go. Anything that was getting in the way, anything or anyone, whether it was you or, or things within you, outside of you, people, whatever, you're going to have to be willing to give those things up for the greater good. You have a big, you have big shoes to fulfill here. The empress, the high priestess, the, the, the um the judgment is about your calling the lovers here that's you you have a choice to make 
Some of y'all could be a bit lazy. You, you could be a disorganized, okay? Again, some of you guys are working through some type of heartache or something like that. There could be a connection or a commitment to yourself. Work on your commitments to yourself, Gemini. That's going to boost your self-esteem, your confidence, your standards. Okay, it's going to make it's going to help you feel better about yourself. If you say you're going to do something, make sure you do it. I feel like this is all about you right now, Gemini. Like your in, your inner work, and then, and then you know, you're in this you're in this create this empress energy. The empress and the high priestess, whether you're a man or a woman, that's very that's very feminine energy. So this is a time where you're you're going within. You have the ideas, but you, you know you have the ideas. You have the creativity. It's just you may need to you may you can need to study. You may want to go back to school. You may need to just t kind of take a break for a quick minute, center yourself, figure it out what your what your where your heart is at, regards to what you want to do for work, what you want to enjoy doing, brainstorm it. I feel like you're in this incubation period before it's time to start acting on things. And the time to act is it's it's now. It's coming up. It's either here now or it's 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 coming. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to get uncomfortable or you're gonna be forced to. Okay, by the universe. The universe doesn't like stagnancy. So, Gemini, this was your reading. This is good. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.